Hello viewers, Super Tita here again, and I'm back on Formula 1 2012. Something maybe some of you didn't expect me to do, but seeing as the new game's coming out soon, I thought I'd give it a go again. And this weekend is the Monza Grand Prix, the Italian Grand Prix, so I thought I'd do an Italian Grand Prix, 25% uh, length. So I'm going to choose Ferrari, Fernando Alonso. Um, I'll just show you the options. I'm just going to do the one shot qualifying. Um, I can't be bothered to do all the. I can't be bothered to spend too much time on it, so I'm just going to do one lap. So, no assists, um, manual gears, legend AI, no flashbacks. Um, so, I'm going to make it as hard as I can for myself. Uh, actually, go back and, and change the weather to clear, because you never know with this game. Sometimes it puts rain when it's never raining in, in, uh, in Italy. Okay, here we go. Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. We're going to do um, one shot qualifying, so just one lap, rather than the usual Q1, Q2, Q3. So I'm in the Ferrari, which is quite the best car for Monza, I'd say. Um, for the setup, um, I actually experimented with this a bit. Um, normally, Monza's uh, a high down, a uh, low downforce track, sorry. But I thought I actually toyed with it a bit and. On uh, low downforce, I was losing way too much time during the through the Lasmo corners and the chicanes, um, and I was a bit unsure over the curb, so I thought I'd go for a more balanced setup because that's what actually all the other cars seem to have. So coming up to the first corner, break about 150 meters before the corner over the curb, not too early on the throttle. Remember, I got no assist, so I come out of that corner in second gear rather than first, uh, just to uh, be a bit more secure. DRS available, use it all the times you can, especially for the long straights. Braking just underneath the bridge there. Take a, take a bit of the kerb. A bit conservative on the power coming out just to make sure I don't spin. So these are Lesmo corners which I've been struggling on. Just keep it, as long as I can keep it quite close to the ghost car. Just pushing that to the edge of the uh, track limit there. And as we come underneath the the old oval circuit, rise back up into the Ascari chicane, take a slight bit of kerb, kerb there as well, and then avoid the last run as we run up to the last corner, Parabolica, under the bridge and then move over to the left, break with plenty of time, get in early, early apex and then go out wide on the exit, get DRS down early if you're brave, and then we go over the line. And over the line we go. That's the session over. I qualified in 12th position, so it's not a brilliant lap. About seven tenths off the lead. I lost quite a lot of time on the first chicane. And I wasn't too far off after that, so. Uh, yeah, probably better than 12th, really. But we'll have to see in the race, won't we? Because you can normally make a good start anyway. Just going to have a quicker look at the statistics. So we've got high top speed, low down force set up which is suitable for this track and I'm surrounded by where are we um, Grosjean and Maldonado probably the worst two people to have around you it's going to be a recipe for disaster up into that first corner not unless I use all my curves and get past a few people early so yeah go to track Fernando Alonso shaking his head there in disgust he's got two dirty drivers around him but this is where I'm going to leave you because I'm not going to commentate over the race. I'm just going to give you a quick update at the end of the video.
DRS when the conditions apply. DRS has been enabled.
remember to pit this lap. Putting the prime tyres onto the car, looks like they're going for a longer stretch between stops. Race pace, keep 
keep pushing.
So there we have it. Fernando Alonso seems pretty pleased with that. Fourth position from 12th on the grid. Positions gained eight, which is not too bad. Quite like a Fernando Alonso performance of that. He can normally get up the position from the middle of the grid. Um, Ferrari fans won't be, too pleased, won't be too displeased with that. I know it's not a win for them, but fourth is pretty good from 12th. And I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Uh, it's just a bit of a variety, really. And I'm just trying to practice before the new game comes out in about a month's time. Um, might might even do a few more, but obviously Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out soon, so once that comes out I'll be playing that a lot. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, see you next time.